Welcome to FM 101. I will be your lecturer for today. My name is Mr. Place and we're going to find the different ways of scoring goals. Basically, what you want to do is score more goals. So, whose phone is that? Whose phone is that? Hello? Yes? Yes? Does yet yeah, speaking? Speak, yes. Oh. oh, hello. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not busy. No, I'm not doing anything. Yeah. Are we getting on? Yeah. 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 Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. No, the, yeah. Yeah. I know. I, I remember. Yeah. You. You want? Oh. Okay. Okay. That sounds. How much? Ooh. Ooh. I do like money. I mean. Yes, yeah, I, well, I do like money. Okay, so you, you want when? Like right now? It's but it's okay. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Okay, okay, I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye, 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 okay, okay, all right, love you too. Okay. Oops. Okay, you, you hang up. No. No. I, I'm sorry. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. Bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bye. So, um. Yeah. I'm quitting. I've been offered a better job, better paying. Don't have to listen to you. Fools who never show up to my class. Oh. We're off. To right some wrongs that we've done in the past. Oh, I'm so hungry for success. <laughs>
I've struggled to get to work in FM21 so far. But we can only wait and see. We do have a couple of uh, pretty decent prospects in our first team at the moment. Like I think this is everybody. Yeah, this is the entire squad. Um, so like we have a couple of young players that are looking pretty decent. Like this 15-year-old midfielder who looks pretty acceptable. <laughs> I think um, we have a decent goalkeeper who looks like he could be good in the future potentially uh, but then you've got like Barna who I think could be a first team player right off the bat I've already gone through trainings as well um, I want him to be an inverted or an in, inside forward slash inverted winger on the left because I think that's where he's going to play the majority of his games for us um, and then you've got Satmari who is a player that I had at Lombard Papa Tiermal, who was brought in on loan. And then when I joined Dorog, I was like, oh, he's going to get so much game time. He didn't. He really didn't. He never really got an opportunity at Dorog. Now we're starting with him as just a young prospect striker. I'm definitely going to be giving him opportunities because he is a player I really rather like. And we also, like, we've plenty of players that are, like, actually pretty good. Like this guy, who I think is a striker um it's telling me he's a striker here it's telling me he's a striker here but then my assistant manager thinks he's not a striker um i think we're, he's definitely going to get a chance playing in romania previously the guy looks pretty fruity but if you look at actually, ability uh lucas shabo is the best player at the club interestingly pretty much every save i've done where i've been where i've had hungry loaded and I've done anything relating to Hungary. This guy has become one of my main left wingers. In. Any save. I think in. Uh, uh, Durag last year. He was signed up for Durag. And he actually turned into quite the player. Um, I think I gave him a couple of games. In the Hungarian national team as well. Um, managed to persuade him to leave. His Slovakian heritage behind. And join us. Uh, but there's players in this team that I've heard of, well, I've actually managed previously. So that's quite good. It's a slightly aging side. Um, like Mare Pap is a player that I, I've had previously as well. And uh, he's definitely had a downgrade this year to what he was the last season. Uh, but then we've Peter Becke as well, who I don't think he's that bad. Um, he is transfer listed to begin with. I haven't removed him from the transfer list yet transfer lists yet because we don't have a huge balance uh transfer budget and wage budget like we're already on the wage budget so we need to remove players before we can start signing them so we're going to have to consider what we're doing i haven't pressed continue once so this is the day the hungarian league begins and um, as you can see we have all of the um new articles everything coming in saying so i took over uh, 975 quid a week can't really complain bunch of contracts that i need to consider um but we have like a year before they're done don't need to do that so they want us to sign players under the age of 23 for the first team not a bother i can do that work within the wage budget we're already right on the the, the cusp of the wage budget so like i said we do need to get rid of players before we can bring anyone in uh, they want us to top half finish and they want us to reach the third round of the hungarian cup i i feel like a top half finish should be doable and um, they're not expecting like the club culture isn't insane uh transfer wise robert mack is a quite a significant signing in this uh in this league but i suppose they're the division above us um but we've only had one player arrive and this is the january transfer window update so this is on the latest version We've only had one player come in and to be fair, he's a pretty decent player. I'm not going to complain about it. Um, I don't see him being like the first team starter all the time, but he is, he has potential, but he's like, he's got potential to jump into the team. He's only a balanced personality. So I don't really know where he's going to fit in. He will get games at some point. Um, I don't think he's going to be, like I said, he's not going to be like our, main attacking midfielder but we'll see what we can do with him so what we're going to do now is i'm going to actually i'm going to 
talk through what I think we need. Um, because that would be clever. So goalkeepers, I think we're fine. Um, in terms then of left backs, we're actually pretty okay. Um, I think we definitely need like. I think right back is something we we need to consider. We could potentially do with a backup centre back because we have like three good ones and we've like two decent ones. We have a couple of young players as well. Centre midfield. If we want to play with a playmaker, we probably need to sign one. Um, attack midfield. I know we're fine. Um, re wings. We have so many wingers and then strikers. I don't think we need too much in the way of strikers would be nice if we had a guy who would potentially score lots of goals but we do need to sign some uh, coaches as well like our backroom team lacking ever so slightly we do have a technical director when we don't really need a technical director we also have a loan manager and a recruitment analysis we don't really need any of those so we have to see what we're able to do uh, but like I said we're going to have to get rid of players before we can sign them um, in the dev centre, then, like I said, we have some pretty decent players. Like I think these two have potential to jump into the team straight away. Um, and then like these two young strikers, are terrible. Um, like Gursic, I think, is a player that we could probably get into the first team fairly soon. Uh, Berna, definitely a player I'm going to be looking to use. I've used him previously. I think he's. Very, very, very good. Um, Neri, he's not too far off being a first team player, to be fair. He might actually make it into the first team. Do I have him set as a right back? No, he's not our starting right back. But we are going to jump forward in time. Um, we're going to come back for the first league game of the season. And we're going to do an update on all the transfers that we've, uh, that we've, that we've done, basically. So... We'll be back in just a second for that. Um, or do we just leave this as an intro video? Maybe we just leave this as an intro video to get everyone excited for the new series. The phone's gone off again. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've managed Drog in FM20. Club I really wanted to come back and finish what I started because I did leave them quite abruptly. Um, but then again, Ghent came. I couldn't say no. But I always do a Hungarian save. We're doing Hungary for success this year properly. And let's see how we get on. If you have any um, recommendations for players you think I should be signing, leave a comment down below. Um, I'll, I'll obviously like the video. I would enjoy if we were to hit quite a nice like target. If we were to get 20 likes for a new, a new series, that would be get the series started properly get everyone all excited i would enjoy it profusely so leave a like subscribe comment down below if there's anything that you think any players you think we need to bring in um if you've managed Dorog in fm21 what do you think we need to to do who do you think we need to sign what what do we need what do we need i've you know i'm coming into this with an idea of what i want to do but i let it up to, to you to tell me what you think we need so um yeah thanks for watching like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you for the next one